This video is for people that are on the fence between a gas coach or a diesel. Let me explain a couple things. Um, it all depends on your use. If you are going to be a weekender, maybe a two, three, four week vacations a year kind of person, but you're still working, this thing's going to be sitting a lot. Um, I'll just be right up front with you. Diesels do not like to sit. Okay, um, <clears throat> there's rumor out there, you know, you can start it once a week and no, you need to run them. Okay, because there's, you know, you've got gaskets and seals and <clears throat> there's also a, uh, a algae actually, if you will, that can actually build up in diesel fuel when it sits stagnant for too long. Uh, these are all things that the gas coach is a little better for sitting for longer periods of time without having as many adverse effects so I don't really recommend a diesel unless you're going to be using it at least half time uh, or full time if uh, again if you're still working full time uh, a gas coach is perfect uh, the nice thing about a gas coach is the maintenance is a lot less uh, it's a regular engine you can do an oil change on it yourself if you like um, <clears throat> it's just not as uh, complex and you're not paying for the diesel up front and right now diesel fuels more per gallon than gasoline so your your maintenance costs are less your uh, initial cost to get into it is less uh, I wouldn't say that a, a gas Class A is a bad way to go. Uh, I personally have owned a 34 foot gas Class A. Um, you're going to get about the same, about seven to eight miles to the gallon, whether you're in a diesel pusher or whether you're in a, a gas Class A. Uh, yes, you don't have as much torque, but uh, you'll still be able to get out there and go have fun. The, the big difference between the diesel and the gas is going up the mountain. Down the other side, they do the same. So, you know, if, if you're going to spend $100,000 to get up the mountain uh, three minutes faster, if you got that kind of money to, to blow on, on that, uh, go for it. But personally, I don't mind taking an extra three minutes to get up the mountain and then uh, go down the other side. I mean, it's, I'd rather have the 100 grand in my pocket. So either way, um, there's just a, a lot of, you know, the, the diesel guys are all about the torque and the diesel, uh, but the gas coach has its place too. And uh, if you're, you know, not looking to, to have as high a maintenance costs, uh, you're gonna be letting it sit longer than, you know, someone that's half timing or full timing. A gas Class A is the right way to go. It'll save you a lot of headache. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. Um, again, my name is Derek Weekly. My number's on the screen. If you have any questions, uh, please give me a call. Thank As you. always, thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date on all the latest videos that we release. Also, check out our blog website, wolfrvblog.com. There you'll find all kinds of downloadable checklists and worksheets. You'll find all kinds of videos on troubleshooting, how-to videos, coach reviews, campground reviews, trips, you name it. It's a lot of information, a lot of fun. Go check it out.